I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and today we're going to talk about risk of ruin and why it's so important for your algo trading. So let's get started. So today we're going to talk about risk of ruin and of all the concepts in trading that I've seen, you know, there's entries, there's support and resistance, there's price action, order flow, all these things. <clears throat> Nothing in my estimation means more than the concept of risk of ruin. And it's probably the most misunderstood concept out there. What it comes down to, is even if you have an edge, if you don't have proper starting capital, you're going to get wiped out. So here's an example. Let's just take a coin flip game. So when you win, you win $2. And when you lose, you lose a dollar. Okay? 50-50 on the coin. And... Over time, you're going to make money, right? Because every time you win, you win $2. Every time you lose, you only lose $1. So after two flips, if you get one heads, one tail, you should be up a dollar. So your equity curve, if you play it long enough, would kind of look like this on average. After 100 flips, you should be up about $50, okay? So you're making about 50 cents a trade. And in the long run, with this coin flip, you're pretty much guaranteed you're going to make money. Not because your winning percentage is higher than your losing percentage. That doesn't matter. It's because when you win, you win bigger than when you lose. So this is a pretty good game to play. So let's say you want to play this. The starting equity the amount of money you start with becomes important. Let's just say you brought a dollar to this game and you said, I'm going to bet a dollar. And if I lose that first flip, I'm wiped out. I can't bet anymore. I walk away. Well, chances are you're going to lose that dollar. You know, it's a 50% chance that that first flip is going to wipe you out. And if it doesn't, Maybe over the course of time, you're eventually going to hit a losing streak and you're going to lose all your money. But let's say you started with a million dollars. Okay. The chances of you getting wiped out with this game with a million dollars is pretty small. It's pretty much zero. Not exactly zero, but it's almost zero. So the amount of money you bring to the table is going to impact how you can play this game and if you succeed in playing this game. So in the notes, you can go to my website where I have an article on this. I also have some tools you can download that will help you figure this out. It's a risk of ruin calculation is what you want to do. And with the coin flip, if you start with less than $10, there's a chance you're going to get wiped out. If you start with more than 10, it's a very small chance. But that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you have enough money to trade it. Okay, so you could say, oh, this is a coin flip. What does this matter? The coin flip has pretty set odds, and you know they're in your favor. The same thing could hold true for trading, except you don't know the odds exactly. But the same concept holds. You place a bet on a trade, long or short, and you're either going to make a certain amount of money or lose it. If you don't start with enough money, maybe your system makes money in the long run, but you could get wiped out by a drawdown. And that's what you got to watch out for. That's what's going to ruin you. And that's the whole concept of risk of ruin. On my website, you could download a Monte Carlo simulator that helps you determine what are your chances of getting wiped out with this trading system? And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have enough capital that that risk of ruin is pretty small. If it's too big, you're probably going to get wiped out. I see this all the time. People trading a system with not enough capital. 
And it might even be a good system that over the course of, let's say, a year or two years, five years, it will make money. But it has drawdowns. It has times where it loses money. And if you don't have enough capital to withstand that occurrence and all those occurrences of all those drawdowns, you're going to lose. You're going to get wiped out. You're going to think your system was no good when actually your system was fine. It was just your money management and the way you were placing bets and the amount of money you started with. That's what was wrong. So to wrap up, risk of ruin. You can avoid it by making sure you have enough money in your account to safely trade whatever you're trading. And the only way to analyze that is by looking at de in detail at your trading system results. If you do that, you should be able to size your account properly and you should be able to avoid the risk of ruin. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Have a great day.